Our blood has many different kinds of blood cells in it. A single drop contains nearly half a million white blood cells and more than 200 million red blood cells. To maintain those numbers, our bodies constantly need to recycle old cells and make new ones. The production of fresh blood cells happens in our bone marrow, which contains stem cells that make all the cells found in our blood. Each stem cell can divide many times, creating copies that develop into different types of blood cell. This includes red blood cells that carry oxygen and white blood cells that fight infections and protect against cancer. For cells to grow and specialise normally, the genome needs to be healthy and intact. However, errors can occur in the cell's DNA. When the errors build up, it can cause certain cells to start growing uncontrollably, leading to leukaemia or lymphoma. For example, errors in cells called lymphoblasts cause acute lymphoblastic leukaemia, the most common form of leukaemia in children. Because these cancers come from faulty blood cells, they don't form solid lumps, but flow through the bloodstream. That means doctors can't remove a leukaemia or lymphoma with surgery alone, because the cancer cells aren't all sticking together in a solid mass. Instead, they use different therapeutic tactics. One way is to use the immune system, which can recognise the cancer cells and wants to attack them. But leukaemias and lymphomas can trick the healthy immune system so that it does not attack the cancer. So, we can destroy the corrupted immune system with radiation and replace it with a new one from a donor. This is a bone marrow transplant. Another treatment blocks those trick messages from the cancer cells, which encourages a person's own immune system to attack the cancer. These drugs are called checkpoint inhibitors. Scientists are also developing a way to take immune cells out of the body and engineer them in the lab to make them attack cancer cells. These improved immune cells, called CAR T cells, can then be put back into cancer patients as an effective treatment. By understanding the biochemistry and genetics of blood cancers in more detail, Bart's Cancer Institute's scientists aim to develop new personalised treatment options for patients 